Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss hash table. Okay, let's start with preprocessor. Preprocessor directive. Okay. First of all, we have to create a structure. Names. So let's create a structure pair. You have, you must have some knowledge of uh, hash table. What a hash table is, and you can easily find it through some YouTube tutorials or Google. I'm just going to implement it in C language. So in hash table, we know that there is a pair of keys and values of every element. So every element has two properties or two fields. You can say that the first one is its key, which indicates its index. And second one is its value. So we are going to declare two fields here, value and key. Okay. Now, uh, first of all, let's go to the main function. And let's uh, declare some variables. Here is one size i. Okay. Now take input from print user. Uh, into the size of table and take it input inside our variable to scan app that is okay now we have the size now what we need to do is we need to create an uh, array of structure named pair construct pair name this array hash table and uh, the size of this array will be, is the uh, size. That's why we are, have taken the input. Okay. Now we have to store every element in their particular uh, structures field. So for that, print here into the elements. And now we have to take it input from by using the for loop. Okay, now we have to take input to scan f and where we are going to store that input is uh, let's make it easy by declaring another variable named temp and uh, store that input in temp. Okay, now we have hash table and uh, what we want to do is <coughs> we want to store the value of a particular element in the index which is uh, multiplied by the size of the table sorry which is the modulus of the size of the table means uh, the value that we are going to store is in index temp modulus size so the index where the value is going to be stored is this so what happens here is the value which are, is uh, the given by user is stored in the structure hash table whose index is temp modulus size. Okay. Now we know that there is another field named uh, key. So the key for that is also stored in the same location so that we can print its key and value when it needs. And now we store the same value inside uh, our key field so that we can print it later. Okay, now change the line. Now we have taken the input for the hash table and uh, let's declare a let's declare, uh, uh, method through which we can display our hash table. So what uh, display now here is of argument is of type structure pair and array and there must be known size for that no now we have to define we define that method so what you're going to do is declare a variable and uh, we have to go through the loop so that we can uh, reach every element as well as in size now, what we have to do here is, in order to print uh, the values, we are going to use printf as usual. And let's print first the value tab key. 
so that we can easily reverse this and change line here. It is better to do it outside the loop because we are not going, we do not want to print it every time. Okay. Now, now we print the real values that we want to be ten. Okay. Okay. Now what we want to uh, print this uh, near this placeholder. So we know, know that the name of the uh, we have to pass here the name of the array also. Okay. Now what you have to do is the name of the array is here. It's uh, i element and its value. First of all, we print value here. Okay. After that, uh, it's key. System. Okay. Now in order to display, we also we have to call the function display and pass the argument. The first one is structure. Sorry, the first one is array. The name of that is hash table and another one is size. Okay. We are now going to debug, so in order to stop the debugging at a line, we declare the here a variable and set up breakpoint here. You do not need to do this, but I am doing it. Okay, let's uh, debug it. Oh, what's up? Yeah, we missed your semicolon. Okay, what is it is asking for? The enter the size of table. Let's consider enter the size thing. Enter the first element five, eight, four, seven, nine, six, two, eleven, thirty-three, fifty. Let's see the output. Oh, sorry. We don't have to set breakpoint here, it's by mistake. Let's continue. Yep, here is a key value pair. So you can see that if the value is 50, 50 divided by the total number of size, the size of the table 10, the remainder will be zero. So the 50 is stored on the zeroth index, and we have also stored the index in, in the key field here. So now it has been implemented. Thank you.